Among the many senior high schools built by Osajufo Dr. Kwame Nkuma, the Straight Road Senior High School is the first Ghana Chart School to be established in the year 1959. After 64 years of existence, the headmistress of the school, who is also an old student, PJC Mrs. Golda Isiandam, expressed worry about the many challenges that the school is struggling with. She complained about the uncompleted infirmary in the school and the dire consequences for students and staff, considering the increase in the school's population while lamenting the sanitary situation of the school, stressing that the toilet facilities for both boys and girls are inadequate. We need the students to be healthy so they can embark on quality academic work as we see to the welfare of all of us students and staff on campus. Health. We have an uncompleted infirmary. When that is completed, it would serve a better purpose because the current infirmary, looking at the population of students and staff, is a worry to us. We also have some uncompleted projects. The toilet for the girls and for the boys is one. But thanks to the 1975 year group, they decided to pick on the girls' toilet, which was a national um, association project, and they decided to get it completed there almost through with it. We are grateful to 1975. The boys' house one toilet has still not been touched yet. Mrs. Andam also called for support in providing laboratories such as physics and biology, agricultural science lab, language lab and court for the visual arts student practical works to enhance academic work. She called on the Ghana Education Trust Fund Get Fund to speed up the processes of completing the accommodation facilities promised them. Physics and biology laboratories are to be upgraded to help us intensify our STEM, STEAM or STREAM activities in the school. Other laboratories are needed. At Greek Science, the school has money to set up something, about 50%. We still need to make it complete. We are talking of the need for a labor language laboratory. We also need to have a court for the visual arts, for their practical works. We have some departments that do not have offices, and so their mobile departments when it comes to ad administrative work with the department. Uncomplete girls' dormitory, which is about 95% complete, has to be handed over in order to curb overcrowding in the girls' dormitory. This is a get fund project. And so for us gathered here, the powers that be, the dormitory block is about 95% complete. When it is handed over, it will solve some of our congestion problem. Speaking at the event, the guest speaker, PhD Professor Kate Ado Adeku, encouraged parents, individuals, and old student association to support the school in addressing the various challenges confronting the school. I believe SWESCO has a strategic plan. We have to review the strategic plan of the school by involving all stakeholders. And I'm pleading that our new old uh, association be headed by, uh, I call him global president, to, be, to, to, to scrutinize and to come out with realistic uh, strategic plan that within the next two, three years, will be able to, to, to climb and move up high and high. Then we need to have student development curriculum. Student developed curriculum. When we were here, we were on a YC. We didn't know what profession to do. If we have our teachers trained in counseling, mentoring, and all that, it will help. Because students, I'm telling you that there is no course you are doing which is useless. Every course you do has a future for you. GC Professor Elijah Pintel also admonished students to take charge of their education and destiny.